Alright guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to reformat your SSD from PlayStation OS back to Windows compatible so that it will show you your external hard drive in this PC page. So all you got to do is plug in your SSD to your PC which I already plugged in mine, SSD Samsung T7. So you just go right click at your window icon, go to disk management. This little pop-up will show up so ask you to choose MBR or GPT so make sure you choose MBR then click OK and then you will see this page if you are new to this you don't know which part is your SSD so let me teach you how so you just go to one of these right click go to properties and then it will show you that it's actually Samsung eSSD T7 so this is your hard drive so all you want to do is go to your external hard drive so go to unlocated here right click choose simple volume and it will bring you to this little installation page so you just click next make sure the maximum disk capacity is same as the simple volume that you want to do is the same and then you click next assign drive letter so since I already have C drive and D drive so it's automatically shows me an E drive so we click next so over here it allows you to choose your file system whether it should be NTFS or XFAT so if you choose NTFS after you reformat this hard drive when you plug it back into your PS5 you still cannot transfer media file so you have to choose XFAT and click next and let it run finish then it will show you here formatting and done so you will appear back to your PC where it appears as a volume E so now that you have an E drive then you can eject this SSD and plug it back into your PS5 and now you should be able to store your PS5 media files. So hope this video helps. So yeah, you cannot store game and to transfer media files using the same external hard drive. If you have only bought one SSD that you're thinking that you can store PS4 games and at the same time you, you want to transfer your PS5 recording to your SSD it cannot be you have to use a separate external hard drive that's the only way so far you have to use two external hard drive so that's all for the video today thanks for watching if you like this video please like subscribe and share to your friends